be reacting to news um, from Amcon's first closing. Um, secondly, we've had a few corporate releases um, that seem to have given some fillip to the to the performance of the market. Um, most to date, the market is up about 10%, um, which is quite remarkable, given that um, in the whole of 2010, um, the market was just north about 18 to 20 percent. So the reality, what we're seeing is that the market is reacting to two things. Um, first, the seeming liquidity overhang that was caused by um, the margin facilities seems to have dropped off. Um, in addition to that, there's quite in important um, corporate information coming out from the brewery sector, um, as well as the food and beverage sector as well as the conglomerates. So it appears to be quite interesting times and the market is reacting more to corporate information um, than to results or any other drivers. What about uh, political news? Because we've got President Goodluck Jonathan winning the PD primary, uh, PDP primaries last week and he's now as close as it gets to being a shoe in for president of Nigeria. What sentiment like on the ground amongst investors when it comes to Nigeria's political climate? Um, I, Alicia, I don't think that um, President Goodluck's victory at the PDP primaries was a surprise to anyone. Um, obviously, the, 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 the president had a well-funded campaign um, structure for the primaries, and that perhaps played a significant role. He also had a lot of support um, from the incumbent governors who delivered quite a number of states to him. Um, so I don't think the market was expecting anything otherwise. Perhaps more interesting would be the intrigues that go towards the 2011 elections themselves, um, which is in April. Um, there are quite a lot of distractions within the PDP that the president has to deal with. And it's important that they deal with that very quickly to be able to focus on um, nationwide campaigns because he has some interesting candidates um, running against him in the, in the main elections. Um, from, a, from a business point of view, I think that um, from a market point of view, a lot of people are just going to be looking at the political scene in Nigeria from a wait and see perspective to say, look, um, what are the scenarios? There are only two scenarios, two possible scenarios, um, a good luck Jonathan victory or an opposition victory. And either of those, we don't believe, will significantly change the business landscape of Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what you're going to see in terms of reaction to politics. Well, we've got continuity of policy and the reform agenda standing in the spotlight, the main sticking points at this stage. For now, with regards to the banking sector, liquidity in the system is the key factor that's being watched uh, as it would you know, revive lending in the economy. We had Amcon say that it's going to be spending an additional 500 billion naira uh, to buy bad loans by the 31st of March. What have you made of the move and its implications? Because we certainly saw the market taking that news and running quite positively at the start of last week? Well, the, the reaction to, to a lot of those developments, um, Alicia, is expected. One of the things to clarify, though, is that um, a, lot of, a lot of people believe, think that um, Ancon releasing a, a trillion now in bonds um, means that liquidity has suddenly improved overnight. That, that isn't the case. What has happened that is Ancon has given this banks or these institutions tradable instruments um, through which they can unlock liquidity in the long and the medium term. Um, I don't think that the level of activity in that tradable instrument would increase significantly in the first half of the year um, as to make significant changes in liquidity situations. What, what we are seeing is that the market is getting some form of flip from um, this, this information and the market is reacting basically from a technical point of view um, to, to the positive news that's coming out of, of, of Amcon. What we expect, however, is that as liquidity improves and as oil prices continue to trade at current levels, um, overall liquidity in the economy will improve. Mm -hmm. um, the, the PFAs, the pension fund administrators, administrators who seem to be the, the most cash-rich cash financial institutions, um, will start to trade those instruments. Then liquidity starts to flow back into the banking space, and then we can start to see some form of real growth in credit. But one of the things that is quite important is that if you listen to what the bank CEOs have said, is that we're not going to see this, this sort of exuberant credit growth that happened in 2007, 2008, irrespective of whatever Amcon does. Um, what we're going to see is a measured growth um, driven largely by um, the very strong conglomerates or very strong lenders, um, st st sorry, very strong borrowers. Um, but the sort of, you know, aggressive growth that we saw in, in credit 
in the in the early part of um, the, the in the last part of the century um, isn't going to happen now. Mm -hmm. Of course, the Amcon bailout is just one option for some of these banks. The stock exchange has previously said that it's expecting a flurry of new issues this year as some of the bailed out banks recapitalize as well. Any a word yet as to who we could well see coming to the fore in that regard? Well, I'll actually report, uh, refer back to the, to the um, interviews I was talking about um, for the bank CEOs. The, the reality is that there isn't that much liquidity in the market and there isn't sufficient confidence yet um, that has been restored in the primary market. Now, th th there are two markets in Nigeria that we've got to distinguish. There's institutional market and the private market. Um, we think that the institutional market might be a bit more amenable um, to some recapitalization um, program by the banks. However, the, the non-institutional market, which is the private market, isn't exactly very, hasn't recovered um, significantly from the losses of mm. 2007, 2008, up until 2009. Um, and we don't think that confidence has been restored in those sectors of the market to ensure that if any bank were to come out today with a massive 100, million, 100 billion naira um, public offering, that that will be successful. A lot of that will have to actually have to be driven by the sort of institutional appetite that they can get for their offers. And I don't think that those institutional offers are going to come in droves.